feeling a little depressed today. Today, I'm not depressed. The shaving is, I think it's no shave November, so don't shave in November. Uh, that's support men's health, I believe, so that doesn't have anything to do with it. But just saying 18 months of lifestyle changes with marginal gains is difficult. You know, there's no other option but to keep going. We can't quit. I just do a lot of information about dieting. I thought I might throw out there all of the other aspects of what I'm doing as far as my health care. Number one, we'll talk about traditional allopathic medicine. Uh, I have taken prednisone for the last oh, uh, three months. I've done a five milligram titration with my physician and I am off prednisone as of two weeks. I gained 10 uh, pounds on prednisone. Um, I take prednisone for ulcerative colitis with reactive uh, arthritis or autoimmune associated bowel disease, uh, arthralgia, arthritis. It's well documented. Check it out if you have ulcerative colitis. Um, those are the two big diagnoses I have. Uh, the other ones include uh, high cholesterol um, and chronic headache. Um, so fortunately, off prednisone. Um, started Remicade, Remicade's anti-TNF inhibitor. Uh, I've seen positive results in the bowel. I'm not bleeding for the first time in many months, maybe years, which is superb. I've seen uh, minor to moderate benefits in the joints with the arthritis with the Remicade. Um, definitely not where I'd want to be as far as my life activity and being... And being uh, able to do my job without pain on a daily basis. Um, I take methotrexate, which is an anti-metabolite. Um, it's used to treat cancers, uh, but also used to treat autoimmune diseases and ulcerative, uh, not, all, not ulcerative colitis, but um, rheumatoid arthritis. Um, that's a pretty hardcore drug as far as what it can do to your body. Uh, Low dose of that to try and help with my joint disease. Take vitamin D, uh, 5,000 international, D3, 5,000 international units. Um, that is the appropriate dose for me under the direction of my physician. It's not, me again, this is not medical advice, just kind of blogging what I'm doing and what I'm going through on a daily basis. B12, uh, the only reason I take B12 is because we used to get B12 from the soil before we washed our plants really well, uh, and now we don't eat any soil anymore. I went to a truck farm, ate some lettuce, and I was eating soil with it, and I would have gotten B12 from that because B12 comes from bacteria in the soil, but we're very clean, and so we don't get that anymore. Take Acicol every day, which is a maintenance drug for ulcerative colitis Crohn's. Um, derivative of sulfazalazine. It's a 5-ASA drug. I uh, take Metamucil, or I get incredibly constipated, even with having a high fiber vegan diet. And I also take Tylenol. Um, try to keep it below three grams a day for myself because I'm on methotrexate. Um, again, not medical advice, just working with my doctors. So those are the drugs that I take, and unfortunately, because of the bleeding in my bowel, I cannot take your classic non-steroidal anti-inflammatories like Motrin or Meloxicam or even Celebrex or anything like that that you would give to folks that have inflammatory joint disease. It makes my bowel bleed worse and kind of slides me backwards. So um, I get to take Tylenol, um, which is for pain control inadequate, but it is what it is. I do a ton of physical therapy. I do physical therapy formally once a week. I go to their clinic for gym time once a week, and then other two times a week I'm on my own. So I'm probably doing four to seven hours of actual strength training every week combined with four, four to five hours of aerobic activity on the bicycle that you've seen that. Um, so I have a really good ther physical therapist worth his weight in gold. I have a really good massage therapist, muscle therapist worth her weight in gold. Um, 
Uh, I've done acupuncture in the past. I would go back if I felt there was an, an indication for it. I believe in alternative forms of medicine. Um, acupuncture was great kind of for the acute period, but now that I'm kind of a chronic patient, um, it's kind of it's kind of tough. I have a primary care physician. I have a gastroenterologist. I have a rheumatologist that I work with, and I have an orthopedic specialist. The four physicians that I work with very closely uh, to control my autoimmune disease. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at. It's it's tough when you don't see results that you want to see when you do everything right. You know, it's kind of like solving a math problem that life isn't like a math problem. You know, if you do all the math right, you should get the right answer. That's how I feel with myself. I'm doing everything right, super compliant, all my exercises, all my medications on time, every time. But the answer is not what I want or correct or better. It's stagnation and pouring molasses out of a uh, bottle so that you can make pancakes or your gingerbread house maybe in a year and a half. So that's kind of where I'm at. Um, my job hurts me. That gets better every day. The pain gets better every day. Acetaminophen actually helps quite a bit, which is Tylenol. Let me know if anybody out there is experiencing these same types of things with their ul ulcerative colitis, uh, um, autoimmune, uh, arthritis type stuff. Uh, I also take Paxil for chronic headaches. Um, and again, high carb vegan diet over 200 days. Uh, no animal products knowingly whatsoever. So share your comments with me. Hope you guys are having an okay day. We'll talk to you later.